The concept of aviation safety has been around for many, many years. And the more we grow into how many aircraft are in the air, we need to set regulations in order to keep the aircraft safe from each other and able to, to uh, maximize the flow and efficiency of air traffic and the flow of aviation in general. Tower, is 3019. So right now we keep the unmanned systems isolated from the manned systems. Eventually a system like Guardian will allow uh, co-use of the same space, so we'll be able to use, use this space more efficiently. Guardian is a ground-based sense and voice system currently in the development. The concept of the Guardian system is to enable any UAV that needs airspace access to use it and have the situation awareness required to detect and avoid. Aircraft currently transiting at 6,000 feet at 65 knots. When you're flying an unmanned air vehicle, you're in a box. You don't have any windows other than your computer screens that you have in front of you. Your ability to look around and see what's, see what's around you to assess your situation, the location of other air vehicles, where you are in the airspace, is, is more restricted. And so the Guardian system gives you that extra essay. As the system's developed and gets fielded, it's going to allow us to take UAVs between restricted areas and through the national airspace and eventually get into the warning areas as well. And uh, that'll greatly increase our capability to test here at uh, Pax River. Guardian is important at Pax River primarily because our UAS test community is growing exponentially. We are testing all kinds of UASs right now. We should be able to, again, integrate the airspace like main aircraft to file and fly have the situational awareness to be able to do that, maintain well clear, uh, so everyone's comfortable with UAS operations. If Guardian's able to prove that, they could provide see and, see and avoid and provide that safety bubble around the UAS, that's gonna be huge. And they're, they're no longer gonna to have to stay in segregated, separated airspace. They can interact with other pilots and other aircraft, manned aircraft, because they can prove they can, they can stay away from them. I can tell you from a test perspective, the Guardian system will enable us to get testing accomplished faster than the way we're doing it right now. So the ability to test an aircraft, and get it out there, field it, and let the warfighter actually get their vehicle sooner than later is a plus. As a UAV tester, I've, I've been involved in a lot of times where we've, where we've been um, trying to get tests done and we couldn't because of the priorities of the schedule and the fact that, hey, the UAVs, that particular test mission, you needed to have exclusive use airspace, and so your, your program got delayed. So it's gonna enable us to, to move our schedules along uh, quicker, and so that's, that's exciting. We're not waiting for that chunk of airspace when there aren't any other manned airplanes around. So our goal is to work as a large nav air team to get this system to where it needs to be to be able to use it safely here at Pax River. Zero at five altimeter, three zero one nine. Once that system is deployed here uh, and we're able to use it on the range, then the objective of the system is to get it beyond ranges through national airspace. That will require our system engineering folks to get involved, get it certified here at Pax River through Air 41 and then eventually each program will have to go out and apply for a certificate of authorization through the FAA for use beyond ranges. Certainly I believe it's the next, next wave. It's certainly the next future of, of uh, safety because it provides that bubble, that, that reassurance, that safety reassurance around the unmanned aircraft. By 2020, they're estimated 2.6 million UASs in the United States alone. They have to integrate. Safe on deck. We're at the beginning stages of trying to figure out how to work these two together. We're figuring it out and we're being innovative like the group that's come up with Guardian. And it's gonna be crucial for us to do our operations as we integrate unmanned systems.